Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next Android tutorial. I know it's been a while, but that's mostly because I've had other stuff to do, namely college and exams. But today, we're going to do something uh, new. We're going to actually make a new project for a start. And this is just going to be called, um, we're going to call this list, list View Tutorials. And the reason we're creating this is List View Tutorials. I'm going to say com.twisted. W uh, twisted equations and uh, list view tutorials or tutorial. Now, what this actually is essentially is a a new set of tutorials. Okay, that is going to focus on list views, array adapters, simple cursor adapters, database adapters. Um, we might go into a little bit of JSON. Uh, Java, ob Java, ob <laughs> JavaScript object notation, it's called, which is very useful and Android has nice support for it. But then anyway, we're going to start off with this here. Uh, create activity, create custom launch icon, mark project, yeah, add project to that. Okay. So our launch, our launcher icon, we're just going to go into my Google Drive, into Android images. I have lots of stuff in my Google Drive. Um, tutorials. That's just a Twitter logo. Damn it. So we'll just go with the standard logo, okay? And you can make it pad a lot. You can get rid of all the padding. You can actually make a minus so that it overshoots it. We'll give it 2% padding just for the heck of it. And next, blank activity, full screen activity. I don't really want that. Login activity. Master, this is for um, uh, settings and stuff like that. So we're going to just create this. Okay, main activity, activity main, navigation type. You can do all these kind of things, requires a uh, honeycomb though. I right, finish. And we've done all this before. So now we've got our list view tutorial. Wabam, hello world, start with activity. So we're just going to get rid of this for a start. And we're going to go through resources and details in a minute. So other properties. Uh, we're just going to change layout. Um, I'm just going to delete. Because you can't really see the full screen here of what I'm actually working on. This is a relative layout. And we're going to alter this into a frame layout. So I'm just going to change the layout. If you right click on the... Uh, okay. Bugger to it. We'll just call this frame layout. We can alter it here. Frame layout, and we'll change it here. So frame layout, and that'll just alter the properties to be a frame layout. Okay, and we're going to include one thing in here, and that's going to be a list view. And this is going to be all our tutorials are going to be based on this. So list view, drag it in, and we've got our list view. So we're actually going to edit this ID. And we're just going to call it a list view. And we're going to make this list view do all kinds of neat stuff. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to generate a text file for you guys. I'm going to place it in my Google Drive and place the uh, link, a public link in the description for the video. So how we're going to generate the text file is I've got a list of the solar system planets or of the planets in, a, in an Excel file here. So I'll just show you it here. And I'll actually delete this. So if we go back to Eclipse and if we look at values and we go to strings, okay, now this is a, obviously, you know, we, we went over resources. This is the name. We're going to show you how to make a string array. So we're going to actually create a new values file because I like to keep my different types of files away. So we're going to call this string a, you can put down that a capital letter and that doesn't matter. So we're going to create string array and finish. And we've got our strings array. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a string array. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can code it manually, which is, you know, you create a string array, an array like that. Or, just go over this this way. Bugger off you. Uh, add, and then we can go string array. Okay. And then if you look in here, we've got our string array there. So we can do it either way. 
<coughs> so how to add an item to our string array? Well, we're going to create our uh, item. Item, and it's already done it for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to call this, we're just going to write this item is as planets of the solar system. Okay, and that's our string array. Now, of course, we need a name on our array, ideally. We really should have a name here. So we're just going to say name equals, and in inverted commas, we're going to say planets, P-L-A-N-E-T-S, array. Okay, save. So that's like the ID for it. We'll, uh, we'll go through that, how we do that in a minute. So that's our item. Now, of course, we want to generate, we don't want to type in item for each one of these, so we're going to use Excel. Now, you, you can probably do this in LibreOffice or OpenOffice as well, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So what I've got here is I've got the tags for item, and I've got my list of planets. So we're going to very quickly write a f an Excel formula here. We're going to use the concatenate. God damn it, I can never make this work. C-O-N, uh, C-A-T. I find Excel to be a useful tool for very basic filtering. If you're doing any heavy maths work, it's not going to work. So we want to go from B1, so we're going to say type in $B$1. Um, I'm going to use A1. Now what the dollar symbols do is they mean they lock the... Uh, let me show you now in a sec. $1. Okay, enter. And that's generated our text string, and then we just drag this down, and it copies them all. Now I'm actually going to write in Pluto in here. Uh, I know Pluto technically isn't a planet, blah de blah de blah, I can go take a hike. So now we've done that. Uh, the dollar symbols just make it so that when you drag this down, it, uh, these are fixed cells, and then as you drag this down, it matches the ones down along here. So now we've got our array, so we're actually going to copy this, and we're going to paste it in here, and wha bam! Array done in very little time. I find Excel very useful for doing little details like that. I've actually done this in one of my apps has the periodic table of the elements and a huge amount of information. So we use that. We'll be using Excel to be able to generate uh, pre-made squall databases in the future. So we'll just save this in my Google Drive and Android. Just make a new tutorial. Tutorial, I know I spelled that arse ways. And we're just going to call this array generator. I'm sure that um, other tools like um, LibreOffice and OpenOffice will have this system. So here we have our array ready to go. Well, bam. So we're going to open up our main activity and we've got our standard thing here. It's already put in an options menu ready for us. We're not going to make a base activity because we're only going to have one activity ever in this class. So we have our onCreate and our thing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our list view up here, our list view object. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it at this. I'll leave the tutorial here with the uh, string array created and all of the rest of the stuff ready to go. And then we'll uh, go through actually mapping. In the next tutorial, we'll go through mapping this array into our list view because that's what a list view does. It displays lists of data. So anyway, guys, as always, it's been good talk. See you out there.